hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled men are trying to convince passports bros to stay you guys i'm super excited as always if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about but if you're gonna be a passport bro there are certain downsides latino women when y'all see passport bros coming your way remember and whatever your rent is double it they can afford it i think it's great that they want traditional feminine women to build and i, I didn't think that i would ever come to this point it's time to get y'all passports Passport bros are minding their business and doing their thing, but some people are not happy with it. But I do understand their position because nobody would be happy to see their backup plan getting a passport. Let's start out video. African women, Filipinas, all you Brazilians, all of you Latino women, we all see passport bros coming your way. Remember, your dinner and drinks are equivalent to one coffee here. So. Order the most expensive things, tell him you want gifts, jewelry, and see how he start acting. You gonna see the real him. Tell him to pay some rent. <laughs> and whatever your rent is, double it. They can afford it. I'm still struggling to understand why some wow. of them still spend their time and energy creating content related to passport bros, while those guys are just minding their own business. They claim that those becoming passport bros are the ones they don't want anyway. So what is the problem? Now she wants to give those women tips on what to do when dealing with passport bros. Okay. Up your up your prices if y'all are doing legal down there in Brazil, double your prices, baby. When you see them coming. <laughs> because they have it. It's only a coffee. They can't go to Russia. The Russian women are they want real money. They can't afford the Russian women. Do spirit even fly to Russia? I don't know. I am for women taking your... Uh... Wouldn't it be better if she was teaching women at home what to do to prevent the increase of passport bros? She is clearly focusing on the wrong demographic. Passport bros are doing their best to find what they are looking mm -hmm. for and she would have helped the situation if she was willing to use her platform to teach her followers what to do exactly. to reduce the passport bros mm -hmm. trend. But instead, she wants to change the attitude of women overseas, which I think it's unnecessary. I think it's not coming from love. It seems like she wants to weaken the competition. The funny part about her video is when she said this. Order the most expensive things. Tell him you want gifts, jewelry, and see how he start acting. You gonna see the real him. Tell him to pay some rent. <laughs> Does she really think that passport bros are not willing to pay for things? She really think that passport bros are willing to travel this far just because they are trying to avoid spending money? Is she forgetting that they are traveling miles, which will cost a lot? Becoming passport bros itself is a costly transition, therefore, the point she is trying to make is senseless. Yeah. Spending money isn't an issue to those guys. Mean? Most of us don't mind being the provider. Mm -hmm. As long as we get something out of it, no men want to be in a position where he keeps giving without getting anything exactly. in return. And this is why passport bros aren't going anywhere. They will increase with time. Why well, you guys, I totally agreed with what this guy is saying. Men are not men are never tired of spending, but once they are respected, once they see the reason, once they see the value in what they are spending on, they are always willing to spend more. But when you disrespect them and teaching women how to up their game, thinking that you are trying to stop the trend is a total wrong move let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys let's check some comments truth be told they don't have it which is why they're trying to take advantage of women in these countries another woman who has little to no knowledge related to passport bros and their motivation first passport bros have money because if they didn't they wouldn't be able to be part of this trend don't fool yourself by thinking that any man can move abroad. This is only for those who have the means to do it. Second, they are not taking advantage of anyone. They are only going to places where they can find what they are looking for. 
Let's check another comment. I 100% support this. Men really think women outside the US are simple and basic. Women are women all around the world. Make them pay. The misunderstanding is visible. She thinks that men are becoming passport bros because we don't want to pay. But she is completely wrong because most of us don't mind being providers. And passport bros are not different. They will even pay for the whole family. But at least they will also get what they want. Let's check the last one. This is why passport bros exist. I couldn't agree more. The energy and mindset she is trying to spread won't help at all. I can even go further to say that it will help to increase the passport bros trend. This one's for the men who and are gonna go abroad for a woman. I understand some of your frustrations, but if you're gonna be a passport bro, there are certain downsides. First of all, you have no idea if this woman is using you for a visa or your money. You're not it's fascinating when I see this type of video. Seems like men are only expected to be the providers over there. Is she forgetting that men are also expected to be the providers at home as well? Men are expected to provide regardless of the country, and we are okay with it. So it makes no sense to imply that only over there they will want them for their money. I'm not going to be able to have fun banter with her. She might be more feminine, but she might not feel like your best friend. She might feel more like a maid service. Number two, you're definitely going to run into some cultural differences. Is she going to be willing to give up her family, her friends, her career just to come to the States for you? you Who told her that passport bros are planning to bring their wives back home? It's important to clarify that only a small percentage of them make that move. This is not what the majority do. They are well aware that the family is better off over there. They don't want to change their partner's culture. Therefore, she doesn't have to worry about that aspect. Let's check the next short clip. It explains the impact when they change culture. Yes, I have an accent because I ain't from here. I was born in Thailand and I grew up in Georgia for a decade. And then I fucking moved to Nebraska and she over there, by the way. How the hell y'all gonna tell me how I'm supposed to sound like? You, you want me to speak in broken English, bitch, ling, bitch, the fuck? Or would you like for me to speak formally to you, sir? Fuck out of here, man. I hope it was clear enough. The impact is visible. Most of them are planning to stay there. They like the food, the people, the culture, and the lifestyle. They have no major reason to move back. You guys are also going to run into the issue of where to live. Or are you willing to move there? Passport broing is a cop-out for something that can be easily solved. She had a nice talk. I like her energy, but I didn't see any solution there. She said that Passport Bros is just a cap out for something that can be easily solved. But where is the solution? Instead of making this video trying to tell Passport Bros about the difficulties they will face making this transition, she should come up with solutions to give them more reasons not to follow this trend. That would be a lot better. Let's read some comments. Please ignore her. Speaking from experience, there's no downside besides the language barrier sometimes. Well said. She shouldn't be telling men not to do what they are happy doing. We don't have men complaining after becoming passport bros. So why does she think that it's a good idea to tell men to stop doing it? It doesn't make sense at all. Let's read another one. Waiting for the downsides. This is one of the best comments so far because she thought that she said something revolutionary about being a passport bros. She thought that it would help those guys understand wow. the mistake they are making by following this trend, not knowing that she didn't say anything. What downside is she talking about? She said the women there expect men to be the providers, but she forgot that we are expected to be the providers regardless of the country. She also mentioned the issue related to bringing them here. But who told her that the... You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? I'm really enjoying every minute of this video. It's very, very funny. These women are literally making my day because before a man decides to embark on this journey he has obviously weighed his options and saying that moving abroad is the best thing for him and nobody is disputing the fact that there's not going to be cultural differences or language barrier but these men are super okay with that and no one cares if they return to the states or not because they can choose to live wherever they want let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and 
who says that men abroad do not provide for their wife men provide everywhere they are and this has always been the norm and nothing is going to change about that except you are not a submissive person or the man is not hardworking that is where you see that men are that is where you see that the man is not providing but a hardworking man always provides for people he loves always provide for his family let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below are you guys in support of the passport bro movement let me know in the comment section and let's have this video up you guys the plan is to come back you are right it can be solved how about you help the women that is a great question and this is what she should focus on last time i checked we didn't have any men complaining about the issues they are experiencing exactly. after becoming passport bros she should help women yeah. and maybe it would reduce this trend three reasons why i think it's actually pretty great for one they're seeking traditional values i think it's great that they want traditional feminine women to build a more authentic harmonious relationship with traditional women value family over having the next best thing and not only that, they don't leave when things get hard or question a man's character or judgment in the relationship. Women with traditional values understand that you come as a unit, you are one, and you tackle life together with respect, love, and mm -hmm. honoring each other with full devotion. Number two, they're taking action. They're doing something about it. They're not finding what they want out of a woman in a feminist world where they're entitled and treat men poorly, finally taking control to find what makes them fulfilled in life. Three, men are finding true love. By exploring their options, they're able to find partners who they can Fine. enjoy life with. It's not about finding a woman who's more submissive, but rather yeah. finding a woman who treats them right. When it comes down to it, it's all about mutual respect. Now, you can absolutely find a woman in the U.S. to marry that has traditional values and treats you right, but most men will tell you that that is not easy. They're seeking genuine, faithful women. They just want a partner that they can trust. The more I cover this topic, the whole Passport Bros movement, the more I understand why this movement is spreading like wildfire. This is a woman who has a good understanding of Passport Bros motives, and to be honest, she seems too good to be true. It's nice to see women with a good understanding of what passport bros are looking for. Can you imagine how great our dating scene would be if most women had the same level of understanding when it comes to this matter? I bet the passport bros trend would never exist, but I think that deep down, most women know what men are looking for. But for some reason, a lot of them tend to ignore it and this is why passport bros won't go anywhere. Guys are also going to those places because the cost of living is way lower. They can live a comfortable life with a lot less. Let's read some comments. Passport bros are not traveling abroad for women. They are oh. traveling abroad for peace. Well yeah. said. This is a great point. Most of them only want to find a good place where they have peace of mind and seems like they are finding it in those countries. Women don't seem to understand that a feminine woman doesn't need money because that's not her responsibility in a relationship. This is what they should be aware of. They have no idea how much they would win just for being feminine. This is their superpower, but they don't know it. They would rather be strong and independent, trying to unnecessarily compete with the man they want. Hello, fellas, fellas, fellas. I, I'm I'm here, never, fellas. I've never said but. this before. I've never advocated for this before. I'm gonna let Quentin and How To Man have it after this. Um, this is crazy. I, I have never ever said this that I was about to say right now. And I, I didn't think that I would ever come to this point. It's time to get y'all passports. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Listen, Hi. fam. Listen, y'all. Look, okay. I've never been the type of dude that advocates for I'm doing because I didn't understand it. And so I, listen. I apologize to every last one of these dudes right? that I've ever, go. ever said that you don't necessarily need a passport. Don't get him. I apologize, <laughs> y'all. Please, 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 please go. go. Get your passport. Go get these today. women from other countries please. who's going to exploit you more. Please go there. Who's going to exploit you more get than in. the women over here. Yeah. Get in, go but in. because they're submissive, you're willing to take that. Get in, go. From the moment we have Anton advising men to join the trend, we already know that this is getting serious. Mind you, he never supported passport bros. 
But the best part of this video was when she said this. Get it, your Go get these women from other countries who's gonna exploit you more. Please go there. Who's gonna exploit you more than the women over here? Getting gone. But because they're submissive, you're willing to take that. Getting Is she implying that we are getting exploited everywhere? But the funny part is when she said that it will be worse overseas. At least we can't say that she is a dishonest person. But when we are providing for the women we love, we don't see it as exploitation. It's our duty. This is something we do proudly, but it becomes a bit challenging when we are dealing with a partner who actually wants to get things from us without giving anything in return. This is what causes the increase of passport bros. The other thing I would like to point out is the reaction of women in the panel when Anton advised men to follow the trend. I didn't see their initial conversation, but it seems like based on what they were talking about at that specific moment, he noticed something that made him lose the hope. But I was surprised with their reaction because instead of trying to make the situation better, they simply agree with him. It shows the unwillingness to work on the current issue. Let's read some comments. We all have different values. It is okay to want a wife, not a boss lady. Go for it, find what you need and want. That is a great comment. It supports the trend. I agree that we are all different and each of us is looking for different things. I know that some men wouldn't mind being with a strong and independent partner, but this is not the case with passport bros and this is why they are going to place where they will find the opposite of that. I think it's a good thing if a man wants to move to a different country to find what he's looking for. I think everyone should do what they want to be happy. I want to be single and child free, that's what I want. So sure, I support anyone who wants to find love in other places, yeah. as long as it's not hurting others. Another great comment. She said it well, as long as it isn't hurting others, anyone should do or go anywhere they want to get whatever they desire. It's no different with passport bros. This is why I don't understand those who try to talk down on this trend. This is all for today's video. If wow you guys that was such an interesting one i really enjoyed every minute of this video enough have been said in this video for ladies to realize where they are lacking and i hope that they get to buckle up especially the ladies in the western countries because whatever that is going on with this passport bro movement they were the cause they started it with feminism and now the men has had enough and I do not even blame men for wanting to go out to look for what they actually desire in this life. And staying back in whatever country they find peace in is definitely recommended for these passport bros. You can settle wherever you want as far as you can afford it and as far as it makes you happy. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. I really enjoyed every minute of this video and i believe you guys also enjoyed watching if you did enjoy watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys